My dudes, my name's Walter. This is Oso. Welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. Well, dudes, we got a lot to cover today. Quite a bit. Um, it's crucial to always start with cars, so uh, the peg hunting was was all right. It was what it was, and uh, I did come home with a few cars. Found another one of these 87D 100s, the magenta color. Actually, a really cool casting when you get up close to it. The BF Goodrich livery is it's pretty cool. You don't see that too often nowadays. Um, really excited about that Dodge. Got one to open, rather. Also found, well, found a new 83 Chevy Silverado, the new C10. Now, if you guys don't know, there are variants to this. This one has a chrome grill. There is an all black grill as well. So keep your eyes out for that variation. Stay on top of it. I don't really know why I bought this, besides the fact I just absolutely love Porsche, as well as I love this 911 Carrera RS 2.7. Uh, a little fun fact you guys may not know is uh, this was one of the I guess most uh, crucial patents that that Porsche uh, is responsible for and that patent is simply the ducktail. They were able to patent a ducktail design. Now it's very specific to a passenger car so it has to have a, a passenger can't just be a coupe as well as the way the the ducktail sits in between the two rear fenders that is included in their patent and we all know what maybe not us all but the rear wing is for rear wheel drive cars so your little front wheel drive cars with a big wing on the back is just odd but in this regard it's there to give the rear end more traction because this thing is a monster especially when uh you consider that the engine's back there as well and it just wants to give you some swing weight around corners but what a rad car great paint great wheels good job hot wheels for keeping that car alive thought there was a, a message in regard to that but i actually think they're pretty straight up the white one and the orange one i don't believe there's variations and there's no variations to this but there's a lot of hype and hoopla so there's your barbie corvette not bad i mean you would almost think that with all of this hype around the barbie movie and franchise that they would have put a little more attention in this car it's uh it's pretty plain jane in that regard but they also have some uh, premium stuff coming down the pipe and we'll talk about that a little later but meanwhile i figure the rest of the cars i got i'll show you guys this way enjoy the video Yeah. <laughs> 
So I bought more than just those four cars, but uh, some cool stuff. And again, don't forget to play. I mean, this hobby's already sour enough, and I think we can counter that with remembering that they're also toys, toys that we collect. Some are collectibles, some are toys, but it's not all that. And probably a good time to transition into the war report because there's some stuff to cover. CNN War Report. The War Report. All right, dudes, welcome to the War Report. Let's get into it. There's a lot to get into. Um, we should probably start with something pretty far out. And uh, again, to uh, circle back to the Barbie, maybe even back to the Matchbox Jurassic Park stuff that uh, I showed a few videos back. Hot Wheels, stand on that pop culture-ness, and if you guys weren't aware, Mattel and Hasbro decided to to uh, bury the hatchet and, and partner up. And so they have, and with that, Mattel and, and Hasbro are sharing some licenses, um, i.e., you know, the Uno game. The only one you really care about is Hot Wheels and Transformers. That should be coming 2024. I've seen some kind of spy pics already, and hopefully you're you're seeing them here. And uh, not sure exactly when, but we're going to see these coming to market in 2024. Now, will they be actual Transformers? I hope so. These pictures lead me to think that they won't be. It's not the first time for Hot Wheels to have Transformers. Here's a piece I got from uh, the homie Yukio a while back. And this is a Hot Wheels brand, and it was... Released in what? Maybe like 2000? Maybe a little later than that. Two, in the early 2000s. And uh, what it is, is simply awesome. It's a robo wheel. I'll show you. This is exactly what it becomes. So a little dude got the cowboy hat. How can you mess with that? And I believe these plastic pieces are removable too. They just clip on. Uh, yeah, so you can... If you want, you can remove the shields and such and really get in and play with the dude himself. Actually, really good on the track. And they did make a set. I think there's probably like 16 of them when they did. A couple few different ones. Uh, nothing in the chase category, you know. But, but still, hard finds. Hopefully you guys uh, have some in your collection and or... We're excited to get the Transformers. I am. I'm real Optimus. Sign me up, B. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Something that's coming out, I think, actually, next week, is the Barbie Collector Set. Now, it's going to have four of those 56 Chevy uh, Corvettes in there, but they're going to have real riders. They're going to have a more detail, a higher-end paint, and there's going to be four. I guess it's Ken's car, Barbie's car, and then two other uh, uh, characters from the Barbie movie. And pretty cool, cool little setup and little beach scene. Barbie's going big. You know, in, in fact, Mattel is opening an adventure park. Seems that Mattel's really taken a, a note from Disney. If you look at Disney, D Disney owns TV channels and theme parks and obviously rooted in toys. And... Uh, Mattel's really taking that note. So they are bringing up, what is it called? The Mattel Adventure Park. What you can expect to find there for a good time are some Hot Wheels roller coasters. I know there's a Bone Shaker ride that they're working on. Um, they're also going to have a Barbie like beach house thing. So go get tan and sip some margaritas. I don't really know what you do there. But again, Mattel and the machine that is Barbie really growing their uh, their brand awareness. Uh, I hope you guys will get to go there. Those should be opening up next year. Here's something. Target. Target. And for all the homies out there in the uh, metropolises, big cities, you know, the more urban areas, if you guys weren't aware, Targets, Walmarts, all stores, even big mall stores are dealing with an insane amount of theft. 
And this theft is causing them to, to make changes and repercussions, whether they're putting stuff behind glass or bars or uh, added securities, ink packs, I don't know, all these other things. One thing Target's doing, and Target may be smart to do this, but this is going to greatly affect anyone with that traditional Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. What Target's doing to thwart all of the vandalism and, and theft and everything, especially starting on the West Coast, I believe in the NorCal's and maybe uh, Oregon's, uh, is they're closing early. My mom always said, you know, nothing good happens at dark, you know, get your butt in the house, you know. And, uh, and there's probably some truth to that because they find that most of the theft vandalism mischief happens after that five six o'clock hour so again you monday nine to five as you get off work you want to go hunt target may no longer be on that for you um they don't open till till nine anyways so or eight pardon me in my short span in this this hobby the amount of change i've seen is just insane insane but again target Target, you know, and there's a lot of exclusives that we get to score from Target, so we should be um, a, 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 a little more, we should celebrate them a little more, but, you know, and again, this is, this isn't just Target, there's Walmart also, here's something, I don't have a Kroger here, but it seems like a lot of people, and I kind of applaud you for or maybe trying to get one over on the man, but sometimes that man could just be an average dude who is affected. And what I mean is Kroger, a huge grocer, and now they've they've bought the Safeways and Albertsons of the world too. So now they're even bigger and their buying power is so big. And why we can celebrate this is as a consumer, if they have that much buying power, they're getting it cheaper and they're they are passing those savings on to us. Example being the drag strips. Kroger was selling these for five forty-seven. People were buying them in, in lots there, and then returning them at Walmart for six forty-seven. Do that to make a couple bucks. I mean, that's I don't know. And you're not really taking the inventory away from a collector because you're putting it back in the Walmart, but you're charging them more, and you're making a buck and. It doesn't, it's pseudo clever, but mostly just a, a mess. So don't do that. And in fact, Kroger caught on if you can't tell with all the stickers. We will not be able to return those. And it's just destroying our carts, destroying them. But you know, really Walmart's having a banner year. Target's down as far as uh, their quarterly projections go. In fact, they even took those off the, the table. They're no longer looking for a great year. Uh, they're just realists up to where the landscape and environment is now. Uh, but Walmart, yeah, having a banner year. And one of those, one of the reasons Walmart is really boosting themselves is their Walmart Summer Rewind. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like this 90s themed shopping experience. They're almost making the Walmarts themselves. They're selling the experience. So, so with the ninety, with the nineties uh, thing, it well, the first one kicks off. Gosh, is that this weekend? This weekend in Austin, Texas, at the Walmart there, and you can expect like it's how do you explain? Like, so remember, like you're a kid. They, they want this to be like when we were youths, or I guess those who are in that age category. But like, you wanted to climb in the freezer. Right? Like get in the freezer, your mom be like, no, you get out of the freezer, Billy, you know? But Walmarts, they're imploring you to. That's what they want you to do. They want you to do that. They want you to climb in. Okay, Abby, she would go bananas for this. They want you to climb in the big ball, like pit thing. Like they want you to do like all this like ruckus. And so that's bringing in a lot of consumers again. And, and Walmart beating out Target prices too. Target hasn't really been able to bring in that price point customer that Walmart has. It just, you know, we're all discount shoppers because, you know, we're smart and we're not the 2%, but um, they're doing it that way. So more things you can expect. Uh, 
homecoming concerts. They're kind of like, it's almost like they want to like kind of do like the homecoming dances, but you know, wrap them up with concerts. And they're going to be, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be digitally broadcast, digital. I think it's going to be a digital thing, but you, you can see Imagine Dragons. You're going to see Kane Brown. You're going to see, uh, who am I missing? Oh, Chance the Rapper. And these are going to happen in their particular cities and locations. Chance being from Chicago, you're going to see them there and uh, so on and so forth. I don't have those locations right now, but you guys can get on the uh, uh, Walmart Summer Rewind link, which I'll put in the description. You guys can kind of check that out. Oh gosh, yeah, what else? Um, they're also going to uh, rent out some of the roller skate rinks in your town and have a free skate and, and play the same music and, and shows and so on and so forth. That's gonna be rad. But lastly, above and beyond that even, 160 Walmarts are going to do this. So there's most likely there's one in your area that will. Uh, the Drive-In Movie Theater. And he did this during COVID. That was a smart bring back, you know. Pardon me. London Fog is delicious. Uh, but they're bringing back the Drive-In Movie Theater. That's going to be rad. You know, and they're not going to play the new stuff. They're going to play classics. Um, probably like, I don't know, Five Old and Mouse. I don't know but some classic stuff. And it'd just be cool to drive in experience, chill out, you're in the comforts of your own car, unless it's a hoopty, but it's yours, it's your personal space. And you get those, those, uh, uh, excuse me, to uh, enjoy your movie and or your company and or whatever, you know, probably make some babies in that thing, who knows. But good job on you, Walmart. We, I appreciate you. I think we as collectors appreciate you and uh, Hope you even get to catch one of these drive-in movies if uh, if they're happening in, in my state and in my area. But you guys can go to the Walmart link to find all that information. The Walmart. Another thing happening at Walmart, or actually this was at a grocer. This was at a grocer. Albertsons even. Yeah, see. Now, this second-hand market, the uh, retail arbitrage is definitely starting to get some traction. You selling sealed shippers, you know? Um, and there's a lot to this, you know, they might appear sealed, but I'm guessing whoever owns these are opening them. And I don't know. But the fact that they're advertising with, within an ad in a retail store shows you how aggressive this is now. So 180 bucks, not really that bad of a price either. So kudos to you, young entrepreneur. Maybe you're an old entrepreneur. I don't know, but it's probably not the best thing. For the hobby, that is. It's actually keeping everybody stoked. Let's see. Is that, what else are we going to talk about here? Any new drops? No new drops? No, just good times. I'm into the good times. I think that's all for the war report today there, ladies and gents. But appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you got some valuable information from there. And uh, can use these in your hunting adventures onward. I think it's time to, I'm gonna go to the mailbox. I, uh, I made a trade with someone months back. Um, and uh, he's a man of his word. Appreciate you, Sam. And I say that because I gave him cars early and he was like, dude, as soon as I get to my cars, I will get to you these. And I, 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 I really wanted this car. So uh, thanks again, Sam, for being straight. You brought me my Volkswagen Beetle, my 62 from the Matchbox Collectors. I'm no longer missing that in my set. It's really nice when you get to kind of finish things off. And that's one. And then I also found this thing stuffed in there too. Or stuffed in my mailbox rather, that wasn't there. But wow, it's packaged like... I don't know. Like someone... Wrapped like eBay ready. I almost feel like I sh shouldn't open it like this. I should. Other thing. Let's see. Oh, let's see. So. Let's see what's in this. Thing. And it's from a friend, Crystal. If you guys remember, Crystal. And uh, her family, you know, Robert and Sammy and everyone, the Ortizes, 
and uh, a real, really cool guy, Papa. And, uh, Papa's is probably racing Camaros in heaven right now, and uh, still celebrating you, dude. We're still celebrating you, man. And celebrating you, Ortiz's too. I, 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 I I'm done. It's got to be really tough um, to not have that collector in in your your community of collectors or that father in your family. be a video coming of this matchbox set for Volkswagens and I did score a set but not enough to open well I, I did buy an extra one of these rabbits to open so maybe I can leave that one carded but oh my gosh thank you guys thank you Need to figure out a cool video for those cards. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's more in here. All right. What what else can be in here? <laughs> yep. There we go. There's the SB2 and Shraka. The GT24. There's the square back and the T1 transporter. This is the Hot Wheels Volkswagen set. I can only guess that these are the the uh, other four that complete that sequence. You guys are probably seeing these or saw these in your Walmart a couple months ago. And or your Walgreens now because the bleed over stuff happens to be there. That Beetle pickup is really cool. They made a few other of those. I don't have those colorways, so. And in my opinion, the strongest casting in that set, the Caddy. This Beetle's not bad either. Really cool Volkswagen sets. And I hope there's nothing else in there. All right, there is nothing else. And what's even cooler they get to really directly compare and and unfortunately not just because there's eight versus six but the hot wheels is a much stronger set than the uh, matchbox but the things you the matchbox guys are focused on the thing they got a couple carmen's in there no carmen's in here no things so they're smart to kind of spread it across the board and make sure that us Volkswagen guys want to support both brands and buy both sets. So good job you at Mattel. Got us. And you got my homies too. Dude, that's like 14 new Volkswagens. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much. And Robert and Sammy and... I'm missing somebody. Ortiz is, is appreciate you guys, man. That's it's really cool. So uh, I'll have to get my stuff together and prepare a uh, a video, and I'll get that done as soon as I can. But before uh, this smoke gets too thick, I uh, I'm gonna get the puppies out, and we're gonna go skate for a bit. So hopefully you guys are finding time to. Live your lives outside of diecast because diecast is cool, but there's a lot more out there. A lot more out there. And with that, I want to send you guys full peg vibes for when you do get out there and go hunting. Thank you guys for, for tuning in, riding along, watching the show. It's a big deal to me. If you like what you're hearing, please share the video. Hit the like button. You know, Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It's appreciated. Notification button will come in handy because there is still the Matchbox giveaway. And let me 
is your box, and there's a bunch of stuff in there. I don't want to show too much. I don't want you to know which supers are coming. Super, pardon me, singular. Uh, but Super Chase, box car, uh, special card, National Park stuff. Short card, really cool matchbox. Starter package. So, and, and again, guys, I really appreciate all of your contributions, you guys donating to the channel, whether it's your time, your money, your gifts. Uh, thank you everyone who always thinks of the dogs because they they enjoy, enjoy the attention, enjoy the intention. Um, and again, so and and because of that, I want to make sure I'm giving back to the community. So for anyone who does donate, like I say, we'll put you in a raffle. But I do believe uh, five dollars, a good a good margin for everyone to start there. So five bucks gets you into the giveaway raffle and do highlight it as matchbox, please. Uh, it'd be a lot easier for me to find it and make sure I got everyone in the wheel. And with that, I'm sending good luck to you all. I can't pick a winner until I pick a winner. So good luck. Thank you guys again. I'll let you boy. Peace.